Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Michelle. I am a flight attendant for a major US airline based in San Francisco, California. I vlog about my trips and I do my best to take you guys with me. Today we are starting this vlog out from the employee lot. We have an exciting trip today. Um, I commuted in yesterday from Orange County. I spent um, the week in Orange County with my family and I commuted in. I did not have a trip yet and I was just going to wait and see what popped up. Um, this weekend is Super Bowl weekend, so I had a feeling that some people were gonna be dropping some trips or some, I don't know, some things were gonna pop up and I was right. So probably around 11 p.m. last night, um, I was refreshing our trade board and a trip popped in and I immediately grabbed it and I barely even like saw what it was. <laughs> but we are going to Beijing, China, which is so exciting. It is a new destination, a new country for me, and I am really excited to check this one off the list. Um, good timing, because I recently got my Chinese visa renewed, so this is the time to go, um, and I'm pretty excited. We are flying the 777-300. This is the biggest plane in our fleet, and um, I am basically like assist as needed position. I work in the back, I'm on the meal cart, my assist the galley and I help out um, back there pretty much whatever the galley might need I'm there to help um, and yeah we work together there should be six of us on the back so in the back when this plane is fully um, booked with passengers or mostly booked with passengers they staff us with six in the back on this plane for international and I am the six um, and yeah I'm excited I think our flight over there isn't full but coming back I'm pretty sure we're like completely full or almost completely full uh, I am a little nervous. I haven't like researched anything on what to do because uh, I just got the trip really late last night and my check-in was kind of early for um, an inter international. It's kind of early. My check-in is at 9.35, so I woke up at like 7 a.m. to get ready. And right now it is um, 8.48, so I should probably head in. I have to like open all the apps on my work device and just like familiar familiarize myself with the flight. Uh, but that is all for now. I will talk to you guys later. Um, hopefully I can give you some more information about the flight or about the trip, but oftentimes with an international, it just can be like really busy and we're just like really prepping right when we get on the plane. So we'll see how this one goes. I'll talk to you guys when I can and let's have a good it is a beautiful but chilly day here in the bay. Hi everyone, we have made it to Beijing. Oh my goodness, the flight over here was great. We weren't full going over there, so everyone had a lot of space, everyone could spread out, um, and it was just like a really good flight. Crew was great, um, pretty short flight time. We got in early, everything was great. Um, we do, uh, we are here on Chinese New Year. Yesterday was Chinese New Year, um, and today is like still part of their celebration, so a lot of things are closed. But we have some really fun plans for this layover. I'm really excited to take you guys with me. Um, but tonight we are going to meet up with a couple of the crew members and go out and walk around, see if there's anything open, and try to get something to eat. Um, I, yeah, had such a good crew. Uh, I'm just so excited to be here for my first time. I can't believe it's my first time in China. I am half Chinese, but I've never been here before. Um, I am, my mom's side of the family um, grew up in the Beijing area, so it's like really cool to be here. And yeah, I'm just excited for my time here. The hotel is gorgeous. I will do a room tour so you guys can see. I feel like there's so much to do and see here, and I'm not gonna get it all done this time, but that's okay. Um, I'm just really excited to be here.
But yeah, let's do a quick room tour and then I have to get changed so we can meet some of the crew. Okay, this hotel is gorgeous. So right here we have a little closet with a safe and some storage. What is this? Oh, interesting. Fire escape mask. <laughs> and then we have another closet with robes, slippers. Amazing. Amazing bathroom. Um, beautiful bathtub that like looks into the room. It's so beautiful. A beautiful shower. Another robe. We love this bathroom. And then we come in and the, the room is just beautiful. It's just a really nice size place to put my suitcase, place you can like hang your bags, beautiful bed. I think we have, let's see, refrigerator in there, coffee station in there, and then a couple sitting areas. Let's see what the view is. It's nighttime, so we'll see how much we can see. Ooh, there you have it. These are literally the biggest blueberries I've ever seen. Thumb for scale. Those are so pretty. Those are beautiful. Beautiful. Look at these. These are huge. Muscat. For scale. So I'm back in my room after dinner, walking around with my crew and just hanging out. And we had such a good night. It was honestly just an amazing night. We had delicious food with like amazing um, duck. And it was like a restaurant that's really famous for their duck. They cut it table side for you and they serve it with the different sauces and condiments. And it was so delicious. And then we went to another um, restaurant just to have a glass of wine together. And it was really, really fun. Um, I just loved the ladies that I was hanging out with this tonight. They were really wonderful. Um, and just, yeah, we had great conversation and it was just, it was just good vibes all together. But it is kind of late and I have to get to bed because we are waking up early for a very exciting adventure tomorrow. I am so excited. Yeah, I'm going to head to bed. But I did want to show you just a few things. Um, my purser made us these cute little gift bags. Um, so sweet. She is so, so cool and sweet. These cute little Valentine's Day slash Chinese New Year gift bags because we flew out on this trip uh, on Chinese New Year and they just had some candy and mints in here. And then um, in flight for my airline gave us this little red envelope, which is customary for Chinese New Year. And it has like a little note with like a little coin in it that symbolizes like good luck or good fortune or something like that. But anyways, it's time to go to bed. I will talk to you in the morning. Can't wait for our adventures together in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is almost 7 a.m. I am about to go downstairs to meet some crew, to meet a driver, to take us to the Great Wall of China. I'm so excited. It's kind of like a bucket list item for me. Um, we are leaving at the hotel. He's taking us. Um, it's about an hour and a half drive away, and then we get to spend some time there, and he'll take us back. So let's go have an adventure. 
We were picked up at the hotel lobby by our driver, Bobby, at 7 a.m. Bobby drove us an hour and a half up to the Great Wall of China. The drive was really peaceful, and we got lucky because there wasn't much traffic because of the holiday. And we walked to the cable car line. We took cable cars up to the actual wall. I would totally suggest this if you are planning a visit to the Great Wall. It saves you so much walking uphill, and it's also just a really fun ride if you are not afraid of heights. It gives you just such a cool view, and it's really peaceful, and I loved it, as you can tell. When we got to the Great Wall of China, it was surreal to just walk on it. It was huge. I know it was huge. Obviously, it's big, but it was so crazy to see how big it was in person. And it was also crazy to think how many years it must have taken to build this and how it was built so long ago, yet is still standing today and it's still something that we can visit. It was so cool. This was the end of our Great Wall visit, but it was my very favorite part. We took toboggans down from the top of the Great Wall to the bottom around where we entered. These were the rules telling us the instructions about the toboggans. This is just what one looked like uh, without anybody on it, but it was so much fun. I was kind of nervous, a little bit unsure how it was going to be, but it was so fun. It was such a unique experience. The toboggans itself, if you are nervous, are really easy to control. You can go pretty fast, but it's also really easy to break and to maneuver. Um, it was such a good time. And then at the end of our trip, this was the line when we got done. It was so long. We were so glad we went early. Okay, we just got back to the hotel um, from the Great Wall Adventure. I'll tell you more about that. Um, but now we are going to go to the grocery store, pick up a few food items um, for lunch and for the plane back, the plane ride back. And yeah, then we're gonna go relax. Hey everyone, we're back in the room. Um, we have about three hours until pickup, two hours until we have to start getting ready. Today was amazing. It was worth every bit of energy, time, and money spent going to see the Great Wall of China. It was like, I guess not a once in a lifetime experience. I'm sure I will be back here again, but it was so, uh, it was just like surreal. And I am so glad I got to have this experience where I get to see a super historical landmark and just learn more about Chinese culture. And it was just incredible. Um, I am so grateful for my job. I just, I, yeah, I can't believe it sometimes that I have a job that brings me to these amazing, incredible places. I feel so, so, so lucky. Um, we came back from the grocery store. I'm going to eat some of the stuff that I bought. I am going to show you just a little bit of what I bought because it looks amazing. Okay, this beautiful platter of sushi is about 12 US dollars. That is crazy. It is big and it looks incredible. I also got these chips because I wanted to try this flavor. It's a huge bag. I'm not going to eat this all, but I wanted to try this Korean roasted chicken flavor. And then the last thing I just want to show you, look at how good these mochis look. They're black sesame and it looks amazing. Okay, let's eat. Hey everyone, it's 3.45 p.m. I am starting to get ready for my 4.45 p.m. pickup. Um, I tried to rest. Uh, I definitely was able to like relax, but I wasn't really able to nap, which is kind of a bummer. I'm feeling okay right now, but I know I'm gonna start feeling pretty tired just because of I haven't really gotten much sleep this day ever and I've done a lot, um, but that's okay. Uh, we do have crew rest on this flight. I don't know what break I'll get. We do see crew rest in the seniority order. So the most senior gets to choose, gets their first choice and whatever's left goes to the most junior. 
On this flight, I am a third to the most junior and there are 12 of us and I am very much used to being the most junior so I never really know, like today, I just don't know what break I'll get. Um, so, decided to crack open my Celsius, peach vibe, my favorite flavor. Um, because I definitely would rather be more rested or more caffeinated and awake than not. Um, and honestly, we still have a while to go. We still have to drive to the airport, get through security, um, do our pre-flights, board, do our service, and that's going to be a while. So the Celsius was the move. But I'm going to drink this, get my makeup on, get everything packed up, and then I'll talk to you guys um, before we head out. It is about 10 minutes until pickup, so I'm going to head downstairs and go. Um, it was such a good layover, but um, as always, it is time to head back. Uh, we are working a very full 777-300 back to SFO. We got so lucky with a light load coming over here, but it is going to be a full boat going back to San Francisco. It's going to be a busy flight. This plane, when it's full, is really it's kind of brutal um so wish us luck hopefully everything will go smoothly um the crew is really great and everyone's a really good worker so i think that we'll work together very well even though the flight is full and yeah i think it's 11 and a half hours block to block so flight time will probably be around 11 hours and i am like meal cart slash galley assist in the back um and yeah it's just gonna be a lot of work a full plane um we get back to sfo around 3 p.m let's have a good flight talk to you guys later The flight was busy. It was almost completely full and it was it was just really busy, but honestly, it was really good. The passengers were really nice. My crew worked together very well. Um, the flight time was kind of long. It was 11 hours and 32 minutes flight time, um, which is longer than it was supposed to be, but we got in um, just a little late, so it wasn't that bad. But uh, I am happy to be back, but this layover was so great. Like, I am going to remember this trip forever. I feel like this layover was one of the most, like, bucket list and just full layovers I've ever had. Um, I had such a good time. Like, honestly, going to the Great Wall of China was just something that I have always wanted to do. And I am so happy that I got, check it, got to check it off the list. Um, I would love to go back to Beijing. I feel like there's so much more to see. I saw that big thing, but there's so much more to see and explore. And um, yeah, I just really, really enjoyed the trip. It was so, so, so great. And I feel so lucky. My crew was just so great. And uh, that really just makes the big, biggest difference. But yeah, I'm going to close this vlog out here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you would like, please follow me on Instagram. It's dear underscore Michelle. Um, I just post more like real time, like when I'm actually on my trips content there. So if you'd like to see it, follow me. Um, I will write it down here and I will also link it down below. And if you also like this video and you want to see more, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment if you would like to chat. And yeah, I, I will talk to you in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.